Hey guys, it's John from Tech7.net and this is a video letter to Nokia. A letter or video error regarding the Nokia N97. This phone was supposed to be the cat's pajamas and the revolutionary Nokia device that had both a touch screen and a physical keyboard. Unfortunately, this was not the case. The N97 had tons of problems since the day it was released. So much so that some loyal Nokia fans have actually said no more to Nokia. The N97 cost 500 pounds or 1,000 US dollars on launch day. You know how long I have to work to make that? Exactly. There are tons of problems reported by users all over the interweb. Why? Nokia? Uh, I have a problem with my N97. Yeah, China. Such as self-harming camera. I hit my fail. Memory issues. I don't remember anything. Poor GPS. Where am I? And much more. According to The Guardian, Nokia has lost $836 million in the past three months alone. That's a lot of work. Thankfully, Nokia decided to release a 2.0 firmware sometime in October. Unfortunately, it is not yet available. And there is no release date. Not to mention there's no promise that it will fix everything. The OS is the heart of any device. And nowadays, Symbian seems a little bit outdated. Not to mention the lack of RAM makes it somewhat unusable. Sometimes. Perhaps Nokia should take a lesson from Apple and focus on the OS and firmware rather than release a new device every weekend. Hey John. Yeah? Nokia have released that new handset apparently. The N9278. Cool. What? What about Symbian? It just posted it's been delayed for another two weeks. Damn Nokia. Why? Everyone knows the new Nokia N900 is coming out soon, which will mean another $500 slash euro slash pounds for many Nokia customers. However, quite a few Nokia users have stated that the N97 would be their last and final Nokia device. For Nokia fanboys, drop your I love Nokiaism and see the device for what it really is. If you don't like something or if something doesn't work, don't be afraid to admit it. And for Nokia, you should listen. I mean really listen. And take in consideration of what your users, especially your loyal ones, have to say. Because their advice might be the best advice that you can have. Let's just hope for you N97 owners that the 2.0 update should give you guys the experience you should have had from day one. Because honestly, the fix for the N97 should be from the firmware rather than the N900.